Do you know what to do if you or someone else gets bitten by a snake? It's a question that might make you shudder, but it's an important one. Out there in the wild, or even sometimes in your own backyard, an unexpected encounter with a snake can happen. And when it does, it's vital to know how to respond. Every year, thousands of people across the globe suffer from snake bites. Without proper first aid, these bites can lead to severe health consequences, and in some cases can even be fatal. But the good news, with the right knowledge, you can potentially save a life. Being prepared isn't just about having a first aid kit. It's also about understanding the steps needed to handle a snake bite situation. It's about being equipped to face the unexpected and it could make all the difference. So, are you ready to learn the crucial steps to take when dealing with a snake bite? First things first, recognizing a snake bite is the initial step. Now you might be thinking, that's easy. Look for two puncture wounds. Well, you're not wrong, but it's not always that simple. Snake bites can present in various ways. Puncture wounds, yes, but also swelling, severe pain, even nausea and difficulty breathing. It's important to be aware of these signs. Now here's the crucial part. If you or someone else gets bitten, the first reaction might be panic or even anger towards the snake. But trying to catch or kill the snake is a big no-no. That's a quick way to get yourself an extra bite or worse. Instead, take a deep breath, stay calm, and focus on the situation at hand. The next step? Call emergency services. That's right, don't try to be a hero and treat it yourself. You're not in a movie, you're in real life. Remember, don't panic and call for help immediately. While waiting for help to arrive, there are some crucial first aid measures you can take. In the midst of a snake bite situation, every second counts, and knowing the right steps can be a lifesaver. First things first, we need to keep the victim as calm and still as possible. I know, easier said than done, right? But here's why it's important. Any unnecessary movement can increase heart rate, which in turn can speed up the venom spread across the body. So, remind the victim to take slow, deep breaths. While it may not stop the venom, it can certainly slow it down. Next, we want to position the bite below the victim's heart level if it's practical and safe to do so. This might seem counterintuitive, but it's all about gravity. By positioning the bite lower, we're reducing the venom's chances of reaching the heart quickly. Now, let's move on to the wound itself. We're going to cover it with a clean, dry dressing. Notice I said cover, not wrap tightly. We don't want to cut off circulation or cause additional damage. A clean cloth or bandage would do the trick. The goal here is to protect the wound from infection, not to cut off blood flow. While you're doing all this, it's vital to monitor the victim's vital signs, their breathing, pulse, and level of consciousness. This information can be crucial for the medical personnel when they arrive. Now here's what you don't do. Never, and I repeat, never attempt to suck out the venom or apply a tourniquet. These old wives' tales can cause more harm than good. Sucking the venom can cause it to enter your bloodstream, and a tourniquet can lead to amputation if applied incorrectly. Remember, the best way to help a snake bite victim is to get them to a medical professional as quickly as possible. But in those critical moments before help arrives, these first aid measures can make a world of difference. These steps, when followed correctly, can significantly improve the victim's chances of recovery. So, let's be prepared, stay safe, and respect our slithering friends from a distance. We've covered a lot today, so let's quickly recap the important points. First, we discussed the unexpected encounter, highlighting the need to recognize a snake bite, look for two puncture wounds, swelling, redness, and severe pain. Next, we emphasize the importance of immediate reaction. Don't panic, but act swiftly. Dial your local emergency number or get someone nearby to do so. Time is of the essence here, folks. Then we delved into first aid measures. Remember, do not attempt to suck out the venom or use a tourniquet. Instead, keep the bitten area lower than the heart, if possible, and stay as still as you can to prevent the venom from spreading. We also reminded you to wait for medical help while keeping calm. Your survival chances increase dramatically when you follow these steps. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it can be the difference between life and death. Stay safe, 